What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you some insane sniping filters and trading methods to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 20. So if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Over 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, and it helps me out a ton. Make sure to turn on notifications so that you can get all the up-to-date trading methods and sniping filters to help you make the most coins. And make sure to go check me out on Twitch. It's going to be linked in the description, just the same as my YouTube name, FiefChief49. We stream every day on Twitch, so make sure to go check that out. So with all that said, let's jump right into these methods. So guys, you have all really been enjoying these videos that I've been bringing out, the kind of League SBC sniping filters. So we're going to continue to bring you some of that today. Today we've got some... Uh, some Bundesliga and some La Liga filters that are going to help you make a lot of coins. It looks like I have seven, eight filters here to show you. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into this. So in today's video, we're going to be starting with the big club in the Bundesliga SBC, Paderborn, the most expensive club. It costs about 75k to do the SBC. So we got some good filters to start with here. So the first one we're going to, we're going to look at is Mallorca center backs. So let's check the price on these. These guys are selling, they're a bit down in price, which is super nice for uh, for completing the SBC. The cheapest one is looking to be about 6,000 coins, as you can see right there for one of them. Um, and what you're also able to do for this is you can set silver center backs and then buff the price up a bit to about 8,300 coins, as you can see here, instead of 6,000. Now, I probably prefer the silver one. But either way, you can you can do it for bidding. So basically, if you're going to snipe, I would go for the silver center backs and snipe these at about 7,000. Super late right now, and it's silvers, so there's not going to be many cards listed up. I kind of doubt we see any right here. But yeah, if you're going to be sniping the Paderborn center backs, instead of going all qualities and having to snipe at about 5.5, 5K, I would set it to silver and snipe at about 7,000 coins. So bidding is going to be your main way of making coins off of these Paderborn center backs. So again, if we show you here, they go about 9,000 coins, or eight, it was 8,000 for the silvers. So the silvers go for about 8,000. So if we just bump the bid up here and see what everything's going for. Um, so there's not a ton of bids right now, but like this bronze guy, we know he's 6k and we could get him there for about 3,000. 5,000 for him there, we'll throw a bid on him, we can sell him for 6,000, and then these guys have a couple days left, but again, it's super late at night, so not a ton of things we could bid on, but still, bidding's always going to be your go-to method with these Paderborn center backs, so that's our first filter. The next one is just going to be Paderborn midfielders. If we check the price here, we're going to be looking at about 4,000, 3.5k for all these. Now, in this filter, with the center backs, as you saw, there's probably like six center backs in there. Midfielders, there's a lot as well. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got at least six guys here, probably seven. So, as you saw there, it was about 4,000, 3.5K, as we said. So, you're going to be sniping these guys at about 3,000 coins. And again, sniping, you can always go for. It really just comes down to luck if you're able to get any cards to pop up for sniping. Now... Your main method that you're going to be going for is going to be bidding here again. You're going to look at about 3,000 coins here, see what you're able to do. So as you can see, put a 27 bid on him, 1,200 on him, 2,400 on him, and maybe wait on that 3,000 coin one. So again, another good method here. Prices always fluctuate, so make sure you're always checking prices, not just using the prices that I show you right here. But yeah, still some really solid methods here. So first, Paderborn center backs, then Paderborn midfielders. You might be able to guess it. We're going to stick with Paderborn, but this time we're going to be looking at strikers. Now, these guys are so expensive. So in this, we have Shelton, Zielinski, Michael, Shrebeni, Mamba. That's five cards right there in this. However, they just go for outrageous amounts still. So they have five strikers for Paderborn, and they sell 15.5K, 16K, as you can see. So at that price, you're only going to be losing 800 on tax. So maybe you snipe at like 14k if you're trying to pick these guys up for uh, for sniping. Now, if you're not able to pick any up on sniping, again, bidding is going to be your go-to method for pretty much every filter here. You can look at 14k. As you can see, we wrap a 12250 bid on him and try to pick him up. But again, about 14k, you're going to try to pick these up, sell them for about 15 and a half. Still make about a thousand coins a card, which is really, really nice right there. So yeah, last one here. 
14k for those Paderborn strikers. Now, into a new club, we're going to move over to the next next most expensive one in the Bundesliga. It's going to be Union Berlin. Now, the first thing we're going to look at, you have to mix it up for this because I wanted to do defenders, but unfortunately they have this gold guy that's really cheap. So what you have to do is kind of go bronze defenders and silver defenders and just kind of get that gold one out of there. So basically what we do as you can see, bronze defenders, there's one player I'm pretty sure, and as you can see, he's max price. So you might be sniping this guy or bidding on him, but he's basically extinct. So that guy, you can always just sit here, um, snipe for like 12k, and then sell him. His max is probably 14, which is what he's listed for there, maybe like 15. So you'd sit here and snipe this guy at 12k, or bid on him like you saw there. Now next, you're going to look at silver defenders. Now these guys are a bit cheaper as you can see, but a lot of people do need the bronze guy in, and that's why he's expensive, because they need another defender, so the cheapest defender here is 4.8k, so you're probably going to be sniping these at about 4,000 right here, no problem, but again, sniping isn't my preferred method, I like to go for the bidding the most, so if we go to 4,000 right here, um, as you can see, there are a lot of bids here, that guy for 4k, this guy will bid on, he's 3k, and this guy's an open bid for 750, which is really nice. So, you'll have a lot of bids popping up as well, which is super good. So, then Union Berlin, we're going to move to our Union Berlin strikers. So, in this filter, you're going to have Poulter. So, one, two, three, right there. And I believe four, that makes him... So, there's four cards in this, it looks like, in the Union Berlin strikers. So let's go ahead, check their price here. They are selling about 5,500, 6,000, as you can see. So maybe you're sniping these guys like 4,800 if you prefer sniping. Again, sniping isn't my favorite method. I always prefer bidding with these silvers. I just feel like you don't see enough cards popping up during sniping that it's just not worth your time. So as you can see, there aren't any bids right now. But during the day, if you're on a solid time, you'll see a lot more bids popping up. So make sure to check that out. Now, into our next one here. We're done with the Bundesliga. We're going to jump over to the La Liga here and show you some filters. So the first thing we're going to look at is going to be, we're going to jump over to Mallorca here. I believe I passed them. Yeah, Mallorca right here. And first, we're going to look at defenders. So there's two ways to do this. Our first one is going to be defenders, as you can see here. Let's see what they're going for. So Mallorca Defenders, the cheapest one there is about 6,000 coins. Let's see what the other ones are. So there's one there for 6,000. So maybe you snipe these at about 5,500 to try to pick them up because there's a lot that actually go for more than the cheapest, specifically the position we're going to be showing you right after this that goes for a lot more. But this one you can snipe at about 5,500. Maybe we check the bids as well. So no bids as of right now that are going for a decent amount, just that guy that's listed for 6K. But again, bidding, always a good method. So Mallorca Defenders is the first one you can check out. But the next one, and probably the best one on this video, is going to be Mallorca Center Backs. So if we check this out, we have Raylo, we have Valgent as two center backs. We have Campos makes three. And are there any... Sedlar makes four. And I feel like that's it. There might be another one. So they have four center backs by the looks of it. And if we check the price here, they are going about 9,000 coins, as you can see. There's one there for 8,800. So about 9K is going to be the asking price for these. So snipe these at about 8,000 coins. Selling at 9K, you lose 450 on tax. So if you pick one up for 8,000, you still make 550 coins on that card. So that's a really good profit. So again, you can snipe. But bidding would probably be my go-to on this one as well. Maybe there will be a bid here. Let's see. For 8,000 coins. No bid here again. So again, but this is probably my favorite of all the filters I've showed you on this video is the Mallorca center backs because there's four cards in it and they're not too difficult to pick up. And that's probably up there. Either that one or if you want, it, want one in the Bundesliga. I really like the Paderborn strikers as well. Um, this one, again, it's just a lot of cards in the filter that go for a lot of coins and then just silvers in there that you'll see listed up for nice and cheap a lot. So yeah, there's Paderborn strikers, as you can see, just up at like 15 K and there's so many of them that they're not that difficult to pick up. So definitely recommend checking out that filter as well. 
but guys, we showed you a lot of different things in this, just so you can try out all of them, see what works for you, what helps you make the most coins. If you have any questions, make sure to drop it down in the comments below, because that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.